Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully, you are all doing well. May God bring you all more happiness. I try my level best to give you the latest updates about the Iraqi dinar. So guys, let's start with today's information. Intel Group Frank 26 noted that Iraq and Kuwait are now connecting through their fiber optic networks. This is a crucial step in their financial reforms, making it clear what's happening with the Iraqi dinar exchange rate. According to Intel Group MN, Iraq's removal from the list of high-risk countries was officially announced by the International Task Force last week. This is a significant development as it clears another obstacle towards the revaluation, one step at a time. Regarding the current news, oil prices have dropped to a four-month low as OPEC Plus defends a bearish outlook. If oil prices continue to decline, what incentive does Iraq have to increase their exchange rate? The latest information from GR Hostman indicates that the black market is poised to exit if the United States dollar's value falls below the Iraqi dinar. Currently, there is no significant demand for the dollar as the situation is under control. According to Intel Group Bruce, military sources suggest that announcements are expected on Friday or Saturday. Additionally, Intel Group Wolverine and Judy Bankton have received information from highly reliable sources advising patients, with an indication that developments will occur within days. Regarding Goni, floating the currency seems to be the best option, but only once they have created a diversified economy not solely dependent on oil. Original shares of Sand Bank for Islamic and Finance began trading on June 12 after their AGM on June 7, where they approved increasing capital from IQD 305 billion to IQD 355 billion through a rights issue. Original shares of National Islamic Bank resumed trading on June 13 following their AGM on June 8, where they approved the 2023 fiscal statements and increased paid-in capital from IQD 301 billion to IQD 351 billion to a rights issue while postponing the election of new board members. Gulf Commercial Bank resumed trading on June 13 after their AGM on June 7, where they approved the 2023 fiscal statements. New shares of Al Jainab Islamic Bank following a capital increase through a 104% rights issue to IQD 510 billion, will resume trading on June 23.